everybody, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some control. All right, so let's go talk to Emily Pope here. I can't cleanse them, I saw. Oh. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. Uh, you're welcome. I'm going to tell her why I'm here. Are we? I'll risk it. Okay. Listen, the Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. Yes, that's Everyone what we do. I've been for this place for a long time. Okay. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. Yes. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. Hmm. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. Me too. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. Or a few of us. Hmm. And Director Trench would know. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. Ah. A direct line of communication between the director and Bakelite the board. I love Bakelite stuff. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. Yeah. Like, Trench has years and years of experience. Sure. He might know how to destroy the hiss. I hope. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. Hmm. We'll get the door open for you. Okay. That's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. He's dead. Or he's evil. They call me the director. Yep, promotion. But that's not me. I'm not yeah. a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? Answers. I think you already know. Yeah. About Dylan. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. Oh. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. Okay. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. There's that telephone I need. And a very comfortable yet modern looking chair. It's the bat phone. Don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. Okay. There are no stupid questions. No, there aren't. The door to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. Okay. Thanks, so, Emily. So I'm getting the hotline. Alright. Um I have this I have my gun. Right, and it says there's some weapon mods, uh, personal mods, health recovery, um, health recovery per element pickup plus 20%. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Let's do that. And then the gun mod, um, we have energy gained from headshots. Great. Okay, we got that on there. Um, assets. 
uh, materials. I don't know what these are used for. Um, unknown caller. We need an object of power. An old telephone. Let's do it. And we have a bunch of... Uh, we have building shifts. So we have some more correspondence. Lore. And we have some research and records. Urban legends. Urban legends are not just stories for children. They are paranatural realities waiting to happen. Good. Um, so Emily Pope came up with... She's the research specialist, huh? Yeah, all right. What's this thing? Copy machine? What you got here? I opened it. I got a material. So it's like a treasure chest in this game, I guess. But I don't know what these materials are for. I guess we'll find out. Alright. So let me look at... Try to find, like... The loadout is fine. Where's the, uh... No, no, no. Um, I guess I'm looking for, like, a map. Here you go. You push up to find the map. So I'm in the boardroom. And I need to head over there. All right. Let's do it. I guess we go over here. So this part of the office appears to be legit. Like, there's no baddies here. Oh, here's another treasure chest, though. Bam. Lift it up. We got a house memory. Good. I needed that. I didn't really need that. Um, something down there, I guess. Interesting. We'll look for it. So this way, this can get me some good places. Yeah, let's check this out. Very high ceilings. Oh, yes, that's a comforting looking plant. I'm glad you have that. We can go up here to this pencil sharpener. It's on the second shelf. Good place for that item. Okay. That was terrific. We've done a bang-up job. Alright. So, we're back in the main room here. Um, maybe I need to go down to get anywhere... Yeah, it looks like it, so. The director's always running around. She's crazy. Alright, so we'll go to the sector elevator. Oh. Wow, look at these. Um, they have crazy patterns. And then there are these, like, punch cards for their computer that are probably in some kind of meaningful configuration. Interesting. Can I go this way? And the answer is absolutely not. What about the way I came in? How's that going to work? Um, oh. The pneumatic tubes are still working. I saw a memo just flying through there. That's interesting. Uh, I don't have the clearance. Clearance level three is what I need for that. Oh, this is scary. Where am I now? 
Oh, there's a jukebox in there. Well, of course there is. It's a powerful artifact, this jukebox. I don't want to tamper with it. We'll figure that out another time. Alright, so I can't go in here. So, we already tried that way. Um, I guess I will try this way. But does this just take me back into the room I was in with Emily Pope? Yeah, it does. It most certainly does. And inside this room, there is no other place. She's like really fortified herself in here. She's like, I ain't coming out. I'm in the safest place. All right, then that's fine. You do that. So then everything I said before was wrong about where to go. So let's see. Here I am. Um, I guess let's try to go... Oh, I don't even know. Oh, okay, I have clearance level one. Maybe I can do this. No, I don't. I don't have clearance level one. I got clearance level zero. So I can't help these people. That's, that's a shame. Alright, so I guess this way? Yeah, sure, maybe. Maybe if I go through the director's office, I can get somewhere good. I don't know. I'm a little bit lost. I know I don't have the clearance for that. See, this suggests that there's a passageway through the left of the director's office. Like, in here. But, maybe... Well, it looks like the janitor dude came in and cleaned up the, uh, you know. Maybe that passage is just b below me somehow? I'm just gonna walk around. The map is not very useful to me right now. I mean, I'm sure it is if I could actually figure out how to use it, but I'm not there. Oh, here's a treasure. I'll know where I have been and haven't been just by treasure boxes, I guess. We got a personal mod, energy boost. All right, that's cool. What is this contraption? Got a lot of technology lying around that I just don't at all understand. I'm the director. You gotta brief me on these things. You gotta tell me what's going on. You can't leave me in the dark. Uh, what? Oh, here's the radio again. Alright, I remember this part then. Um, and... Jeez. I'm just walking around in this, like, perpetual circle. Enter the communications department. Which, I, I see where it is. But I'm having a bit of a difficult time getting there. Uh, I guess I'll leave this map open as I try to pretend like I know how to get here. Okay, so um, here I am. And yeah, again... I need to find some steps or something, like, because whatever they're telling me about that's through the director's office is not happening. I don't have the clearance. Uh, maybe I can find the elevator and use that thing? Let me go talk to her again. I think she told me what to do, and I just, like, was trying to process everything and missed it. Um, open up. Alright, where am I on the map? Ah, nothing in here. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. I'm glad you're okay. Ok, 
Can you explain to me again, lady, where I'm supposed to go? Oh, this is where I'm supposed to go. There it is again. Our welcome message. Interesting. So this is what I was looking for. I was just thinking to myself, like, usually in contemporary games, somewhere on the map, they will indicate with some visual cue where you're supposed to go. And that swirly pattern is where you're supposed to go. So now that I know that, I won't get lost again as easily. I'm sorry for that. That was embarrassing. But I was just wandering around like, where do you want me to go? Tomasi's talking. I can't do that. I can't do that. Alright, let's go in here. Repeat the word. Oh boy. That, that doesn't look good. There's baddies out there. We all see the baddies. Uh, shatter projectile boost. Travel cost correspondence. Alright, he's gone. Nope. Alright, he's gone too. Give me the health. There we go. It's getting a little smoky here. Real smoky. All right. Uh oh. Baddies. Need some grenades. Oh, here they come. I got some crotch shots there. That guy's down. Oh, man. Yep. I see you. Okay. Um, weapon mod, energy renewal. Wow. There's a lot of scary stuff happening here. And I just open a room, and you see this, and then you see red. It's. it's just, yeah, just knock over. We're going to knock over all the tables here. Whatever it takes. This cafeteria is about to get flipped. Oh, here we go. This is what we need. One of these things. Anybody in here? What is this? What is going on? It's all cold. We got some problems here. I can't shoot it. A van is summary. Alright, well that that doesn't look good. You guys got any any grub? Unstable area notice. I hate to get notices like that. It's it's real bad. Alright, we're going into the red room. I can't avoid it. Dead letters, alright. Alright, we're moving fast. Got anything at this? It's a nice office you got. The dark room lighting is pretty bad. It needs to get fixed, but. Do as you're told. Don't eat mold. 
That's a good reminder poster that they've got there. Treasure. Rip it up. House memory. Let's work hard. His life is in your hands. I guess so. Let's work hard. It's a good motivational poster. I feel better already. Alright, somebody's behind me. I see you. Oh, you're one of those really hard guys. You had like armor, I don't know what it was that you had. But you were you were really scary. Uh oh. They're shooting at me again. It's it's happening all over again. Got the house memory. Alright, where are you? Alright, there you are. Okay. I need the health very badly. You got any more? Is that it? Man, it's so dark. I only know to get that because of the environment lighting up, but it's just... I need to turn on the lights. All right. Is that all of them? More of these baddies? Feels like there's more. I don't like it. I, they're falling down now. Oh god. That's a lot of baddies all at once. Alright, let's just hide behind this and then. I'm not sure. Music seems to indicate that I'm safe. I'm just gonna pretend like I am. Oh, here we go. Let's get this. We're gonna cleanse it. We fixed it. Now the lights are gonna come back on. Yeah, I should get better into the flow of the game. They don't want me to really go exploring and looking for collectibles and memos when the lights are off. I gotta restore the area first. Get rid of the creepy red lights and the baddies. Um, cleanse control points to gain access to fast travel sites through the oldest house. Yeah, exactly. That's what we need, the fast travel. Um, I don't have clearance for that. Here's the communications department, though. Um... And then here's some kind of TV show. Introduction. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. That's a lot. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disc held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disc, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on, and they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. Uh, you're losing me. So the disc, because it contained launched codes, became an object of power because of the collective unconscious? Kind of like what they're saying with the urban legends. Like, if people believe it, it makes it real and creates these events. I don't know. This is very bizarre. 
Alright, so let's see. Let me look at the map. Where am I? I'm up here by in the Dead Letters area. Okay. Sweet. And let me go out of here. And this is a safe area we've got for ourselves. Let me just see if there's anything that else we want to do with our personal mods. Like... This just gives you a 6% energy boost, which, nah, that's not really that interesting. And then I have, um, projectiles fired, plus two, but it's exclusive to shatter. And I don't think I have shatter, so, or I don't know what that is, so... Conceptual material... Hidden Trends, House Memories. See, yeah, I just don't know what to do with these kinds of things, but we'll figure it out. Um, the Hiss Resonance Field is a physical impediment that is difficult to define. Field research on Hiss Entity Hiss Barrier. Hiss Barriers appear as ways to impede or escape access by Bureau personnel. See, this is where it starts to get really complicated because the, Emily Pope made this, and I guess it says by order of me when I became director like 10 minutes ago, um, and now this memo has been circulating. Destroy the multiple concentrated resonance sources in the vicinity or destroy the Hiss entities in the area. And then we stop the Hiss barrier. The resonance fields seem to require support for their size and density from other non-connected sources of Hiss resonance. Without the ability to draw from these sources, the barrier will fall. Does an inactive structure made of Hiss resonance qualify as a conscious being? No. Does the distinction make any difference when considering the hiss? Nope. What does the very act of building walls to prevent our movement tell us about the hiss? To what degree is it watching and planning? Refer to file redacted for full report. I mean, she even had, she had time to disseminate this memo and redact it. Mind blowing. The Havana summary. All right, so this is explaining about what the AWE in Havana. All right, so we got more stuff here, and then this is the object of power, the oops. Um, oh, we have more correspondence that we didn't even see. Singing fish. I got my wife one of the singing fish. It's not a real fish. It sings when you hit a button, but it's got the devil in it. Oh, no. It flies around at night and sings devil songs. Says a lot of cuss words. The devil got in my house because of the fish, and you got to come handle it. My wife's upset. When can you come? Sincerely, Dwayne Barr. Yep. We'll be right there, Dwayne. Awesome. Well, we got to our next little save point and we cleared another area of the oldest house and we're ready to move on this is a fantastic place to stop the episode i now know where to go and know how to locate that in the game uh and i'm excited to progress further it's a very spooky experience but i want to unravel the mystery it's kind of like alan wake in that respect I hope you have an excellent evening or day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll take you guys next time in Let's Play Control. Take care.